My name is Marcus Mangini. I'm the team leader of Team for Macaurum. Standing here are our four rovers. As you can see, three of them are not in working order, but that is not a problem and demonstrates one of the core features of our robot. Rover 1 here, however, is in perfect operating condition, and uh, it is sitting on this blue line here at the end of this tape measure, which is 17 feet away, our requisite 5 meters. There is our prepackaged sample for level 1. Now then, in just a moment, we'll engage the startup sequence, and uh, the rover will begin its twitching. There we are. So what it's doing right now is that it's going through <coughs> a check sequence, where it is checking out its own internals, such as the uh, some of the servos, the hard drives, and whatnot, and it is getting a health check. It'll eventually try to report that into other rovers, and what this does is that if at the start of the, uh, the system, if, say, only two or three of the rovers actually report that they are healthy and good and able to do the competition, then the field will be split up into that many uh, number of rovers as opposed to uh, all of them. So, oh, and there we go. It completed and decided to continue forwards. So it is now heading downrange for the, um, uh, the, the prepackaged sample. And it has stopped in front of it. Excellent. All right, the rover is trying to position itself for a grabbing right there. I don't know if you can see that twitching. Um, but now, oh, there we go. Hooray, it managed to grab it. Uh, now it'll take a few seconds to register that through the arm system. Uh, that is, That hook is an alpha gripper. There will be something hopefully much more impressive by the time this is all complete and ready for the competition. Uh, so, oh, there we go. It has determined that it successfully grabbed it, and it is heading home. Ah, uh, unfortunate. We'll fix that later. Oh, oh, and it is back. Lovely. Uh, that is the end of this testing system.